There's this common misconception about what it's like to fall into a black hole. So the, the common story is that I see a lot is that as you approach the black hole, as you get closer and closer to the event horizon, which is the point of no return, you're rushing into the black hole faster and faster and faster. You're approaching the speed of light. You're like, it's sucking you in. And there's this effect called relativistic beaming, which is as you approach the speed of light, your view of the outside world universe gets distorted. Uh, Instead of seeing everything all around you like this, your view gets compressed into a cone right in front of you. And then as you get closer and closer to the speed of light, this cone gets tinier and tinier and tinier. And uh, the light gets blue shifted to higher and higher in energy. So you're getting blasted with like x-rays and gamma rays right in the face as you're going close to the speed of light, which is all true. That's correct. Uh, But the view is that as you fall into the black hole, you're getting faster and faster and faster. And so your view of the outside world is getting compressed like this. Also, because you're falling in to this extreme gravitational environment, you are getting slower relative to the rest of the universe, which is also true. That's also correct. And so not only do you get a view of the universe compressed into a cone, shifted to high energies, but it's also sped up so that as you fall in, you get to enjoy the entire future history of the universe as it's blasting you in the face. This conception is so common that I did a video a few years ago where this is the story I told, but this is inaccurate. It's inaccurate. Well, it is accurate in a certain scenario. Let me say it this way. It's accurate if you were to approach the event horizon and just hover right above it. Because you can view black holes and the gravity surrounding black holes as a flow of space inward towards the black hole. I mean, you can view any gravitating object as a flow of space, like pulling you in. And so that's nothing special about black holes. What's special about black holes is that the flow of space becomes so fast, it can exceed the speed of light. And the distance from a black hole, a distance from a singularity, where that inrushing flow of space exceeds the speed of light, is what we call the event horizon. So to resist that, to resist that flow of space inward, you have to blast your rockets and struggle against it. So as you get closer and closer and closer to the event horizon, as you're hovering in place, it's as if you're traveling closer and closer to the speed of light. Ooh, and you're really, really fighting. And the closer you get to the event horizon, the the more you have to blast your engines, the more energy you need, the more you're fighting space. And so then you get this beaming effect You get the universe compressed into a disk. It appears to speed up, yada, yada, yada. But that's different than falling in. Falling in is just free fall. You're just coasting on in along with the rest of space. And falling in with you is a bunch of light. Some light went before you. Some light comes after you. Some light comes in at the same time. So it's a different scenario. It's a different scenario. And the scenario you see is the view of the universe actually gets compressed, not into a disc above you, but into a band around your waist. And that's because of the extreme tidal forces. The the differences in gravity from place to place are so extreme where everything wants to be pulled inwards into the center of the black hole. This causes the light that was falling with you, like say here, to instead get bent in. And so your view from the sides gets bent in, pinched in towards the middle like this. So light that was coming in from the top appears to be coming in from the sides. And so your view of the universe gets sandwiched into a band around your waist. And then the biggest freaky thing is that when you fall through the event horizon, you don't know or don't realize that you've fallen through the event horizon. But I'm going to save that for next week. How do you like that cliffhanger? That's a pretty good cliffhanger. I'm very proud of that one. So check out my video next week. For now, please like, share, and subscribe.
appreciate it. Go to patreon.com slash PM Sutter to keep these videos going. I also really appreciate that. And I'll see you next week. And we'll, we'll see what happens when you're inside the black hole then, but don't worry, you're not getting out.